a long ass freaking time ago in a land called Kickapoo. They lived a humble family, religious through and through. But yeah, there was a black sheep who never see. I I forgot the I forgot the lyrics. Yeah, but yeah, yeah but yeah, Tenacious D. Who who here likes Tenacious D? Anyone? Anyone here? Mhm. Mm yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know how to even properly play guitar. You know, I don't know how to play A minor, D minor, or something. Or you know, I don't know how to do that. But anyways, I love Tenacious D. All right, I love their music, and also love that one of my favorite childhood actors, you know, is so vulgar in his in his like songs. And I especially love their new hit video games. It's really fun, and like I always replay the part of the freaky giggy 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 giggy. You know, I I love that. I also love I also love in Tenacious D how like whenever you like close your eyes you can like still see Jack Black's face whenever he's singing it's just amazing and also don't forget Kyle Gass he's also really good he's a really great guitarist and a good vocal performer as well but why am I talking about Tenacious D well this this like Tenacious D kind of because there is a video game all right there, yeah there's a video game starring Jack Black all right. And this song is called Brutal Legend with, with like two dots at the, the top of the U. I've never even heard of this game. I've only, I only remember my cousin like bought the game one time and bought the game one time and also like the first 15 minutes where he's like, don't you ever just feel like you were born at the wrong time? What, like the seventies earlier, like earlier seventies. Yeah, that's like the only part I've ever seen in my childhood. But then I watched some gameplay and the game honestly looks pretty cool. Jack Black's voice acting is really great in the film. He's not the type of Jack Black where he's like so energetic and like really amped up for like the next scene. He's actually pretty calm in this. He's, he actually has like a pretty calm and soothing voice. Except for when you're in the action, like when you're hitting monsters. And one thing that I also love about the game is that like right before like the a giant demon statue is about to fall on Jack Black's character. It gives you the option of, hey, so, uh, so yeah, in the game, there's going to be gore. So, like, we can give you the family-friendly option or the option where, like, you, or, like, or where it's, like, it's gory as heck. Kind of like in Friday the 13th, like, killer puzzle where, like, they give you the option of PG or R. And it's really amazing as well. Like, it's really amazing. It's really amazing. I love it. Nice touch. I love it. I love whenever games break the fourth wall. So, yeah, you see, that's all I wanted to say. Um... So yeah, that's really what I want to say. It does have some weird controls. Like you have to press A or X to attack. X on PlayStation, but A on Xbox. And it's really weird, but like it, it does grow on you. It does grow on you. As someone who's, who's like played the first 15 to 30 minutes of the game whenever it first came out on my cousin's Xbox 360. I know how, I know how it is. That's all I have to say about the game. It's like really great. And, and it's really great. I th it's kind of like Guitar Hero or something. I don't know. I don't know whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's really great. Really fun. Uh, I don't have his Xbox 360 with me right now. He lives like 30 minutes away from where I am. But yeah. See you soon.